Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys the easiest way to backtest your strategies using TradingView. No fancy Excel sheets, no coding, no PineScript needed, completely manual. So in the past, I've tried all kinds of backtesting methods on MetaTrader, using third-party software like Forex Tester, even coding my own scripts. But honestly, this is by far the easiest way so if you're a beginner or someone who just wants to start backtesting without all the hassle, this video is definitely for you. So this method lets you track everything, your net profit, win rate, average PNL, your largest winning trade, all without the manual hassle. You don't need to enter data into an Excel sheet or manually calculate your results. So before I show you this method, let's quickly go over the common ways that traders usually backtest. So the first one would have to be coding using PineScript. If you have an automated strategy, you could code it into TradingView's Pine Editor, but the problem with this is learning to code does take time, and if you don't do it right, your results won't be accurate. So the other option is you could just manually track your trades using an Excel sheet. So this is also a very common method, but it's very annoying and tedious. So for example, if you're testing, let's say 100 trades, that's a hundred times you'll have to manually enter all of your data, like your entry points, your take profit and stop loss. So the other option is using third-party software. So programs like Forex Tester 5 can make backtesting easier, but they do cost money and they don't support trading view indicators, which is a big downside. So aside from all of these methods, I still think there's another method, which is probably the best way to manually backtest it on trading view, which is just using the bar replay tool in trading view. So TradingView introduced this feature not too long ago, and I don't think many people are using it to its full potential. There's no coding needed and all your indicators work. You don't have to manually enter your entry points and exit points. So you may need a subscription with TradingView, but to be honest, it's not that expensive. It's definitely worth it. So here's how it works. The first thing that you wanna do is you wanna select a chart and time frame. So for this example, I'm going to use EURUSD on the four hour chart, but you can use this method for Forex, crypto, stocks, basically anything that you wanna trade on TradingView. You can then add any indicators that you use, so like moving averages, Bollinger Bands, or whatever you normally use to trade. You then wanna click on the bar replay tool. So this lets you rewind the chart to a specific date. So you can backtest as if you were trading in real time. So then you need to select your starting point. So let's say I want to backtest from Jan 1st. TradingView will hide all the price action after that date. So you can't see any future movements. So the play button here is going to start the backtest and plays price action like a live market. The forward button moves the chart forward one bar at a time. The replay speed adjusts how fast price moves during the backtest. So 10 UPD per second basically means 10 updates per second, and it's the fastest option. So jump to real time means that you're bringing the chart back to the live market. All right, so I'm just gonna show you guys a couple examples of how to use the tool. So when I click the play button here, you can see that um, price is just moving like it's a live chart. And let's say for example, I want to take a um, sell position here because I think the market's going down. So you want to click on the short tool up here and um, double click and you want to set the account size to whatever account size that you normally trade with. So using this example, I'm just going to say 100,000. And the risk, you can set this to whatever you want, but I'm going to set this to 1%. So I'm only risking 1% of the account. So $1,000. Press OK. And when I adjust the stop loss here, that pretty much just uh, adjusts the quantity so that I'm only risking 1% of my account. Um, so I'm gonna set my stop loss here and my take profit here. And um, now I need to put that quantity that you see on screen here. So 98039, I need to put it in the bar replay quantity. So uh, 98039, 98039 and I want to take a sell. So what that's done is it's opened up a sell position and I want to adjust my take profit and stop loss so I can just drag my take profit down here and my stop loss up here. And as you can see, I'm only risking $1,000 or 1% of my account. Um, and then I'm pretty much going to just click play. Now, um, if you want it to go faster, you just need to adjust this. 
Um, so I'm going to just go 5x to make it faster. And there you go. I've hit my take profit uh, and I'm up $1,300. Um, and I'm just going to, let's say I want to open up another trade. And let's go with a long position. Oh, sorry. Let's go with a short position. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put in the quantity here as um, 82576. And I'm going to click sell. That's opened up a sell position. I adjust my stop loss here. So I'm only risking 1% of the account. And my take profit will be down here. And I press play and now this is just going to play out uh, as it was a live chart. So let's see what it does. If you guys want to make this faster, you can actually increase the speed here. So I'm just going to do that 10x so it's faster. Okay, so you hit my um, take profit and I'm now up $2,300. Um, so that's pretty much how you would take trades. Um, so you can you can take trades as though you are really in a live market and you can use whatever indicators that you want. So if I'm using EMAs, I can use that. I can use the super trend indicator if I want to as well. Um, but it just gives you so much flexibility on, on how you trade. Um, I'll just do one more example. So let's say I'm gonna take a buy this time and um, I adjust the stop loss to wherever I want and my take profit to wherever I want it. And I just going to adjust the quantity. So it's 74906, 74906. And I want to take a buy. And I'm adjusting my stop loss and take profit. I can just drag it, press play. And let's see it play out. And it hit my stop loss. Okay. so. I've taken three trades here. Now, um, let's say you want to analyze your results, right? Because any backtesting software needs a very good uh, data analysis tool. So what you want to do is you just want to click on the replay trading down here. And this is going to give you all the information that you could possibly ask for uh, in terms of your backtest. So you can see here um, that my total PL right now is $1,300. Um, I, it has your max equity drawdown. I've taken three trades. You can see a 66% um, are profitable trades and I have a profit factor of 2.445. You can also see this really nice graph here um, that you can, you can change it um, at the bottom. You can also change it to percentage instead of absolute values. If you click on performance, this is gonna have a breakdown of how, you've, how your backtest is doing. So you can see your net profit, your gross profit, your gross loss. Um, if you click on trade analysis, you can actually see I took three trades, three total trades here. I have one um, long uh, trade and two short trades. Um, you can see the percentage profitable. So I have 66% profitable and my average PL, my average winning trade, my average losing trade, my largest winning trade and my largest losing trade. Um, how many average bars in trade, average bars in winning trades. So it just breaks it down really nicely for you. Um, the next tab, risk and performance ratios. This has all of your sharp ratio, your profit factor. Uh, and then if you click on list of trades, that's just going to have a history of all of the trades that you took on the account. So you can see I took three trades here. Two of them were for $1,000 profit. And then I had one loss of uh, 1000 US dollars. So this is pretty much everything that you need for your backtesting, right? You don't need um, to code. You don't need to learn how to code on PineScript. You can just have the flexibility to trade how you want to trade. Sometimes with your trading, um, you can't necessarily code it, right? There's an element of discretion involved that is not necessarily codable. So you can't do that or you just wanna quickly try out a trading strategy. Uh, the other thing as well is you can use all of the indicators that you want. So if you wanna use EMAs, Bollinger Bands, or whatever indicators that you want to use to trade, you can use that tool, tool as well. So if you guys found this video helpful, please leave a like. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll try to get back to you. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.